uh, I welcome back Rafael Mier. He's been our supporter of Grain School for many years now, and we have several projects in collaboration. One of them is a tortilla project in southern Colorado, and, and also our uh, Grain School in the Field, which will be in November uh, in Pueblo, Colorado. So uh, welcome back, Rafael. Uh, he will speak uh, to us around sustaining the biodiversity of corn and, and the culinary traditions in Mexico. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much, Nana. Thank you uh, to the Green School for this new opportunity to be here. Uh, I'm very glad to, to share some of our work. I'm going to do a very short presentation about what's going on in Mexico in the, in the past times. Uh, first of all, I want to, to talk a little bit about this uh, Teosintle, which is the origin of this important crop that, now in, that nowadays is one of the most important crops in the world. Uh, here in this Balsas River Basin in the state of Guerrero is where all this domestication of corn took place. And this, uh, this interesting wild grass was able to develop into a wide uh, broad uh, diversity. Now Mexico has a, a huge diversity of corn, which is the result of years and mil thousands of years of selection and adaptation to different climates in Mexico. And this also happened in many other places of America, the continent America, uh, where nowadays we can trace more than 300 land races of corn, all spread from Canada to Argentina. Uh, all this selection and, and diversification was made by thousands of, of farmers during the many, many years, no? With careful selections for agronomic traits, but also with selection for food and cooking traits. Especially in Mexico, we were able to develop a lot of dishes that range from tortilla, that is our main food. Uh, tortilla is the main source of protein, calcium, energy for the Mexican diet, for the Mexican people. But we, we, eat, we eat corn in, in so many different dishes. We have tamales, we have antojitos, we, have, uh, we eat fresh corn, we grind it, we mill it, we even ferment it, sprout it. There are so many different dishes in the Mexican uh, traditional cuisine that we, th we believe that it's a very important uh, treasure that needs to be shared. And especially for Mexico, it needs to be kept as one of the main sources of nutritional and, and good quality food, no? Even though we are also struggling with, uh, with corn industrialization in the past uh, eight, 80 years, we, we have been losing a lot of our traditions, uh, Nowadays, there's a lot of industrialized corn uh, in tortillas that, are, that lack fiber, uh, a lot of chemicals that are being added to our products. Like for example, nowadays tortillas, we have more than 60 different additives and preservatives and colorants and many other chemicals that are being uh, used for, for all these uh, junk tortilla food that Mexico is now consuming. And there are many efforts trying to, to, to reduce all this use, no? So I would, I would like to tell that here in Mexico, we are fighting to get back to basics. We want to get rid of all these uh, industrialized corn foods and trying to move on to our main culture and nutritional uh, food made from corn, no? So there are, there are a couple of efforts. A lot of people have, have been working with traditional uh, cooking methods. There are lots of women, prince, uh, mainly, 
but also some men that are starting and promoting the traditional way of cooking in Mexico. There's also uh, a lot of new projects, new ventures coming, uh, doing great tortillas. You met Santiago from Maizajo last, last year that he visited us. Uh, but there are so many other corn projects that they are working with tortilla making, they're incorporating vegetables, they are mixing tortillas with protein like amaranth and so many other foods. And they are bringing back uh, the tradition of, of, of eating a real tortilla made with all these heirloom and land raised varieties of corn that we have in Mexico. Also, we are having a, a very good response from all the media, all the newspapers, the radio, the TV shows. They are, they are uh, paying attention to corn. This is something that is new. Like 20 years ago, corn was not really well uh, represented uh, as, a, as, a, in, as an important food. Now it's coming back and it's, a, it's an important, not just a trend, but it's a, it's a, it's a movement that I, that, I, that I believe that is, that has arrived to, to settle down, no? Also, you can see a big, a big change in the social media. Now you can see corn everywhere. All the chefs are producing corn. Many people are really taking the corn back, no? Also, it is important to, to tell that we are having very good news on the policy, in the policies. Uh, we are moving forward on the Tortilla Regulation Act. Uh, we hope that this new act will be published in the following weeks. And here we are, we are expecting to have uh, great advances in the quality differentiation of tortillas, the control and use of additives, prohibition of food colorings, and a lot of uh, better consumer information, no? Also, I want to tell you that this past uh, December, there was a presidential decree that bans GMO corn and, and glyphosate use. We are gonna have a four year period in order to, to drop all our GMO corn consumption and also to start changing and switching to other herbicides that are more uh, ecological and risk uh, risk free uh, for glyphosate no uh, substitution and also we have a new law a federal law for the promotion and protection of native corn so there are there are a lot of things coming on in mexico uh, we think we are happy for all these uh, movements and all these uh, issues that are going on we are um, we are very well. We are um, well. I don't. I get confused. But uh, here's our corn. I we believe as Mexico that we have a great opportunity to show it to the world, to 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 share the ways we can use it, cook it, and uh, get it as a as a nutritional food. Sorry for the this. No, that's um. That's my. My contact information and our our websites and all this. Mm -hmm.